You gotta take a step back. That's why you're getting bored, man. But bro, if you take a step back, then you're gonna be three Yo, how steps can you, back. It's like this, bro. If I tell, if I take a book, right? See, there's a book here. There's a bunch of words here, and I go like this. I'm like, yo, what does that say? I'm like, yo, bro, I can't read it. Jack. But if I go like this, this I'm trying to get Jack. Nah, nah, right? nah, bro, I, I told you, bro. But if I go like this, like, oh shit, that's what I gotta do. You gotta look from outside. Yeah, but I'm like sitting. My work's like here. <laughs> I'm not like so this in my laptop, bro. No, I completely missed the, the point. Fuck it. You... Bro, we have like the most fucked up views, bro. We will never get along. He's more about like mindset, like peace. Yeah. I'm more so like, yo, fuck your feelings, bro. Like work 20 hours a day. Who cares, bro? If, even if you're on the verge yeah. of dying, who cares? Keep doing it. All right, what's up, guys? <laughs> all right, what's up, guys? Hope all is well. Hope everyone's having an awesome day. We're back at it with another YouTube video. We're going to be filming a push day with Ronit. What's up? I'm currently in a bulk. Uh, Ronit, you're in a cut right now? I'm uh, in a cut, but I'm maintaining for a couple of weeks. Just giving the body a little rest, and then I'll go back to cutting. We're gonna be doing a push day. Uh, we're gonna be getting into it. First exercise, we're gonna be starting off with the Smith Machine incline press. Okay. Well, look at the dumbbells, bro. Look at the dumbbells. Oh, what the fuck? I give a fuck what you heard. You say to you, Papa, but I ain't heard him. Any beat that you pass me, I murder him. Who's in this in this bitch in this man? My bitch pull up and buckle my pants. I took off off the drink, I can't stand. How much are you gonna go on this? Well, like a plate and 25? 45? A plate and what, 45? <laughs> Two plates? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did this guy just say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also guys, if you want to add a little bit more intensity to your set, yeah. same exact thing like I did with Rone. I yeah. just had him control the negative and then just helped him up. Because you're stronger on the eccentric than you are on the concentric. And this is the only time negativity leads to positivity. Change the fucking plates, bro. If you do uh, the way Mandraj, we kind of train is like uh, top set, down set. Usually this is low sets, like low volume, you send it. Make sure you go failure, high intensity, right? Because we're not doing like 10 sets, so make sure you actually make the sets count. Don't train like Mandraj. What he's saying is since the volume's low, just make sure the two sets count. That's much better. <laughs> That's You're much like, better. <laughs> Armand's looking at me, he's like, what the fuck is this guy saying? <laughs> For this, I kept the range of motion pretty short. Huh? Slammed all the weights. I was gonna have a scientific explanation. For this, I kept the range of motion pretty short. I didn't lock out all the way, so I wanted to keep all the tension on my chest. And also, my grip was a little bit wider as well, yeah. just to hit a little bit more of the chest. It's like a little bit. Does that work? Five yeah. degrees. This, yeah. but I do it all the time. It's legit. It doesn't look know. safe, eh? <laughs> now that we're done with the uh, high, fuck. All right, so now that we're done with the high incline Smith machine press, we're gonna move on to a low incline uh, dumbbell press. So they're both incline movements. Your upper chest can never be too big. For a lot of people, your upper chest is lagging. So having one low incline and having one high incline will be fine. Okay, so for the low incline dumbbell press, we're gonna be doing the same thing, having a top set and a back off set. The top set, we're gonna do like 46 reps, back off set, eight to 10. Talk about, talk about us. Who you shooting? Carry up, carry up for us. The world in the panic, the women is standing, the men on the run. The profits are banned, the law take advantage, the market is crashing, the industry wants. Niggas and bitches to sleep in the box while they making a mockery following us. This ain't my novelty, watch it for love. This ain't my novelty, y'all get it fucked. Jumping on what the hell is that? I gotta relax when I feel. All my decisions, they tell me my sleep and say I am too real. I'm done with decisions. Well, oh, my hip was cramping halfway. Oh, fuck. I thought your beard hit my <laughs> nose. I was like, oh shit, this is kind of sus. <laughs> Yeah, you keep the thing pretty short, huh? Yeah. Range yeah. of motion. You yeah, feel it more? Huh? You feel it more when the range of motion is short? Way more. I used to lock it out. But I feel like all I felt was like triceps and shoulders. Yeah, yeah. So like a front delt, right? Yeah, when you locked it out. My, yo, my front delt is much nicer double up than my chest. That's what I find. My front yeah. delt. So like my upper chest now, I find it's a juicier pump. Because yo, I lock out pretty good. Yeah, out you lock right? out pretty good. And like your form is actually like, it's like immaculate, bro. You know what I'm saying? Immaculate. Yeah, it's like good form. Man. Mine's a little bit more like pumpy. Pumpy. <laughs> now that we're done with the low incline, uh, we're gonna give our chest a little bit of a break. And now we're gonna move on to a machine lateral raise. We're gonna be doing three sets, 10 to 20 reps. Focus on putting the blood in the side delt. Hey, rubber band hundreds, this shit keep on coming. 
spit the thumb. More like a mummy, the drug got him slumpy. I just did it, 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 Look at that. How do you know how to do it? It was great for man. This right camera now. angle stuff is too much, yeah. Quick tip for the lateral race. I'm not going straight out to my side, like right over here. I'm going out a little in front of me. Ronnie, what would you say? It's like 30 degrees. So yeah. a little bit more in front of me rather than to my side, just to hit a little bit more of the side delt. This machine's sick, yeah. Yo. It's so good. You feel it right where you're supposed to pick. Right in your fields. Right in your fields. Right in the field. <laughs> right in the field. <laughs> We're done with the machine lateral raise. We did three sets, 10 to 20 reps uh, to get some side delt volume in. Now we're gonna go back to the chest training. Uh, we're gonna do a fly variation. We're gonna do a pec fly, um, but our knuckles facing oh. down. Just a different variation. You gotta do more cardio. Do you do cardio? Five days a week. Five days a week? Yeah, I'm gonna I just do, do steps I'm gonna do right some now. today too. Yeah. You do cardio after your workout? Why don't you split it up? Time, bro. Time, you have I your just, own schedule. Yeah, I know, but like, I just like having it in like one block. Oh, you know, I like having it in two blocks. Cause yeah. I get tired as fuck after. I, I get tired as fuck. But I'm after this, I'm sleeping. But yo, I, I you train, I you train in the morning. I used to do cardio at night. You, you know? train in the afternoon, right? Yo, I train at like 12, 1. Yeah, that's after. If you wake up at four. <laughs> <laughs> if he wakes up at four, he does the cardio. At yo, 12. I'm saying some stupid shit. I train at 11. I train okay. in the morning. There you go. I got you. No, but yeah, I train at 12. I train at 12. Okay, so for our fourth movement, our third uh, chest movement, we're gonna be doing the pec fly. We're gonna be doing three sets, 10 to 20 reps. Just get blood in the muscle. Really focus on the contraction. I'm not too worried about like the weight or doing progressive overload. Just focus on a good hard contraction, improve your mind-muscle connection. Get blood in the muscle. So gay. Man, a real long, big skin cone when you make the trap go jump. Yellow wrist stone, canary yellow stone, I'm putting on that stuff. Digging in the bank, blood my money, make a bitch bust on that. One mistake you guys want to see, when I was doing my set, at the end I started to go like this. I started rod my shoulders forward. So you don't want to do that at the end of your set. Make sure your chest stays up and your chest stays proud the entire set. <laughs> what the fuck did he just say? What did he say? <laughs> I said if you do that, Santa's going to put you on the naughty list, right? <laughs> Alright bro, too much breaks, let's hit your set. Yo, it's almost Christmas time, getting in the spirit, yeah. <laughs> you know those free motion diagrams? Bangla, right? Have you seen those free motion diagrams? Yeah. On the machine? Yeah, yeah. It's like a cable press and pull. That's a Bangla move, yeah. Do it again for them. Bangla? You gotta you gotta demonstrate. Okay. It. <laughs> and and, and this guy's the making the jokes and then <laughs> with the cameras on and he's shy. Also guys, for just a quick tip, if you guys want a little bit more variety in your chest training, if you guys are doing push-pull legs, you guys have two push days, one day I'd recommend starting off with like a fl fly, do like kind of like a pre-exhaust day, and like the next day, start off with your presses. Just to change it up, add a little bit more variety, and create a bigger stimulus. All right guys, for our next exercise, uh, we're gonna be doing dumbbell ladder raises. We're gonna be doing three sets in the 10 to 20 rep range. You don't have to go extremely heavy. For this, for a push day, I always like to have like two different lateral raise variations because your side delt can never be like too big enough and then also it's going to give you that crazy x-frame if those side delts are really popping and who doesn't want a crazy x-frame or a crazy v taper no well, just 10 really? to 20 reps failure i'm not doing more than 20 so i'm not really counting right because i'm not going like to hit like 25 26 because yo i'm not really trying i'm not log booking today why because we're training the shit's kind of different you know a little bit more like ah oh, bumpy and like, <laughs> it doesn't count i'm not i'm not log booking today because we're training right together so fuck it it's balance, that's called balance. Mental health break. Oh my goodness, god damn. When them bullets had came my way, I say I bet Kodak ain't down. We pulled murder back was after we turned red rum to one. I just threw in like an extra 10 partials just to fucking rip it. This is the last set for the shoulders for today, so. All out failure. Yo, they're actually playing pretty sick music today, huh? Yeah, I said they're playing pretty sick music. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Well, other times me and this guy are filming, they're playing like Michael Jackson, Ain't No Mountain High Enough, like all this old school music. Do you guys ever like train at this time? Or record at no, this time? No, never. That's what I was gonna say. Well, I've never trained Evening at this time. Evening is probably like more hype, right? Yeah, I've never trained at this time. Um... Oh, but yo, it makes sense. All the like older people are That's coming in I mean. the morning. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty. This guy needs a gym, yo. He's smart, he's a smart businessman. I uh, went to the gym on uh, Good Life, 7 p.m. on Friday. It was so fun. I've never seen that many people at once. And we started getting a pump. You feel fucking like... Everyone's training at us. All like the little kids are there. It actually feels nice to work around people. Yeah, we train I've like... I've been so isolated, right? So it's good to have 
Good to see other humans. Okay, so now we're gonna be moving on to some body weight dips. We're just gonna do two sets to all out failure. This is gonna be our first exercise for like the triceps. The reason why we're doing body weight dips because you're still gonna be hitting a little bit of your chest, right? Your lower chest, still gonna be hitting a little bit of your front delt, which we haven't hit throughout the workout or like isolated. So a good movement just to kind of transition to your tricep training. So two sets to all out failure. I was gonna attempt to spot it, but I was like, I don't know how to spot this exercise. Guys, quick tip for the body weight dips. If you wanna hit a little bit more of your chest, make sure you're leaning a little bit more forward. If you wanna hit a little bit more of your triceps, be a little bit more upright. So depending on what you do, you could bias different muscles and grow more muscle mass in that area. It's three takes, bro. That was a sick quick tip. Bro. Struggling, I did three takes of that. Maybe Lack your, of oxygen. Maybe your brain dipped while you were giving the tip. I'm so bad. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get angry, bro. Huh? Like, I know it's like, I was training with KD too, you fucking like beast mode, right? And I can't. Well, like most people when they train hard, it's like they get fucking angry, right? Or some shit. At least that's what I perceive. But yo, but I think a little bit of it is, a, is like a, kind of like a show for oh, like content too, right? I guess, yeah, yeah. Like, have you seen those people that are like doing calf raising? Their eyes are like rolling back in the back of their heads and shit. <laughs> like they're <laughs> making the craziest that faces, right? That is true. But yo, my, my tendency is like fucking smile after every set. After that's like how I am too. <laughs> after like control it. That's how I am too. Bro. It looks like I'm not even training hard, yeah. Like bro, people are gonna watch this to get hyped for their workout and just see us like smiling. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, like what the fuck is this, yo? Guys, for the last exercise, we're gonna do a tricep rope extension. The reason I have two ropes is that way I can get a little bit more range of motion. So when I'm down here, right, I could go all the way back down. Whereas if you have a little bit of a smaller rope, you might only get to here, so you can't really fully straighten your elbow. So. If your gym has a long rope, you know, definitely use that. You're going to feel a lot more in your triceps. Or you could just combine two ropes. If it's not busy, your triceps will feel like 10 times better and the contractions will be crazier. So we're just going to be doing one set here. It's a quick little finisher. We're going to do a double drop set. So we're going to do one set here. So all out failure, drop it a pin. All out failure again, drop it a pin, all out failure. And that's going to be the workout. Also guys, one thing you're gonna notice is the reason I'm standing back here is because if we're using a double rope, like this is not long enough for me to get like a full stretch, have my bicep come into my forearm. So that's why I'm kind of forced to take a step back, put my elbows a little bit further back. So my bicep drives into my forearm, I get a full stretch rather than just being here and doing this. So if you're using a double rope, take a half a step to a step back. Yo, when you guys do arms, just fucking stop counting your reps. Just go to failure. I don't want to feel count the reps. <laughs> It's probably like as small as this muscle group. It's like, oh, six reps. You can still count your reps. Like, no, go to no failure. counting. Just go failure. There's no failing. But you just said go to failure. Go to failure. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's going to be the video. I don't really know what we're talking about. But if you guys made it this far, I appreciate you guys. If you guys haven't checked out Rona's channel, make sure you go check that out. Link will be in the description. I don't know how to add it, but I'll add it. And for all in all, I appreciate you guys. We're going to keep this bulk going and get jacked. Take it easy.